This week we are praising God, we are thanking Him, and we're celebrating His goodness and all that He has done for us. Our God has done so much for us, and there's so much to be thankful for. So we read Psalm 98, verse 1. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous things. His right hand and His holy arm have gained Him the victory. Sing a new song. When God does something new for us, we have to respond with a new song. Our words must change, our rhythm must change, because every act of God must be responded to by a new song. We cannot continue singing the same old songs, the same old songs of fear, same old songs of defeat, same old songs of failure, when God has visited us and shown us so much of his power. So the songs you sing are very important. When we say songs, it's not just song in the natural, traditional sense of music that you sing, but it's also the words you use, the way you express yourself, your attitude. That's all your song. And when God does something new for us, we must respond with a new song. When we sing a new song, our words change. Our hearts rejoice in what God has done. And even if we can't see an outward change, we just know that because God has visited us, we must sing. You would notice that when God visited Hannah and promised her a child, she sang a song. When God uh, visited Mary and promised the Messiah, she sang a song. Because singing a new song is an affirmation of what you believe that God has done for you. So... In our praise to God, we sing a new song. We sing a new song because God's mercies are new every morning. Each day when we wake up, we have cause to sing a new song because it's a new day. This is not yesterday. Yes, yesterday may, may have been whatever it was, but this is a new day. It's an unlived day. It's an unlived hour. And God's mercies are renewed every day. His favor is new every day. And because the Lord has given us a new day, a new life, new opportunity, our song must be different. We cannot keep saying what we used to say yesterday when life was hard. We must say something new because God has given us a new day. We sing a new song when we experience something marvelous. And something marvelous can just be seeing the sun rise in the morning or the setting sun or seeing a bird fly in the sky and just watching its movement in the, in the air or see a flower blossom or see a young child take uh, some steps or see a smile on a child's face. There's so many marvelous things that prompt a new song in our hearts. And God does other marvelous things like changing the situation for us, turning things around, visiting us, showing us his word, showing us his power. We sing a new song when we experience something marvelous. We worship God. We declare his praise. We honor him because he's done marvelous things for us. And we sing a new song when the Lord gives us a new victory something you've been battling with, something you've been praying for, all of a sudden God moves it out of the way. Have you noticed that sometimes God works a miracle and we don't notice the miracle until far later? It may be a pain in a part of your body, you pray about it and pray about it, and then the pain is no more, but you never notice the pain is no more until probably a week later, a month later. Then you remember, I used to have this pain. And God has taken it away. When you realize that God has done something for you, he has delivered you with his outstretched arm and with his arm of victory, then you burst forth in a new song and let your spirit exalt in the Lord. Let your spirit rise up in praise to the Lord for what he has done for you. And I believe God has worked mighty miracles for you. So burst forth with a new song. Let the songs of praise come out from your lips. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for all the marvelous things you have done for me. 
My soul sings a new song to you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let your soul sing that new song to the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Enjoy his goodness. Enjoy his mercy. Enjoy his visitation. It's a new day. I'm Pastor Mensah Otterbill. Shalom, peace, and life to you.